there are people who will be born in a few years, who are not even here, who will one day have to assist in paying off that debt. Now, the fact that this is a long-term problem means that it requires a long-term solution. That's why we've been saying all along that we yeah. ought not raise the debt limit yet again. Extending our national debt by another $2.5 trillion, dollars, more or less, without a permanent solution in place. Here lies the problem. It's difficult or impossible for one Congress to come up with a set of budget numbers that will necessarily bind future Congresses. We can come up with a plan to cut two or three trillion dollars over a 10 or a 15 year period, but if future Congresses don't want to go along with that, they can find a way out of that. This has happened again and again, as we've seen with Grand Rutland Hollings, as we've seen with the PAYGO rules. Congress becomes a walking, breathing waiver unto itself. We need a permanent solution. This is why we've settled on the need for a balanced budget amendment. Now, as my distinguished colleague, the junior senator from Kentucky, has just pointed out, there is no intransigence in our position. Those of us who identify with the Republican Party, those of us who identify with the Tea Party, 